Originally released in July of 2021, the Fear of God California. This specific pair is in the oat colorway. Adult sizing retails for $195 and kids in $145. Similar to mainline sneakers in the past, you have the Fear of God dust bags to accompany the actual California slip-on itself. You have a one-piece backless slip-on shoe that will feature the debossed Fear of God logo on the back heel, and as you can see, tread on the outer sole itself. Now again, it's a one-piece upper foam made entirely of extra large, extra light foam. It's a brand new technology patented just for the Fear of God California. The extra bounce in the mule allows for awesome comfort, but also the lightweight feel on your foot of truly wearing nothing. They are made in Italy and actually intended to wrinkle and crease over time, even change color in a patina way. Compared to the Yeezy slide, it is something I think you can dress up a little bit more, wear throughout more seasons than just the spring or summer. And honestly, it does elevate your outfit more than a slide will. I need more of these. I don't know if I need every single color away, but I absolutely need at least one more, maybe two. Okay, maybe three. I surround my soul with the positivity. That's why I don't worry about the things that I don't see. Yeah. These days I don't worry about much. I think we should have some more fun. I still dream about the days when we were young. I'll take a hit and still finish. Okay, the real question, socks, no socks, how will I choose to wear these? Well, here's a look in the California with two different brands of slip-on socks. On the right, I'm wearing the Stance no-show socks, and on the left, I'm wearing the Gymshark no-show socks. There's still some visibility to the sock for Gymshark on the back, but not from a top-down look, which you will have with the Stance no-show socks. For sizing, you can see my toe is right there where I'm pointing. Now, I went down a whole size to a 37 EU. My true size, since I'm a women's seven and a half and men's six, would have been a 38 EU. Here I'm wearing absolutely no socks and it's still a very comfortable fit, but I would still wear socks just to circumvent any sweating or my feet overheating in the actual California itself, even though it has some ventilation that might not be enough if you wear these for long periods. What's going on everybody? It's your girl TJ back, another video on Talks with TJ. And finally, I own the Fear of God California. Don't ask why I'm always a little bit behind on some of the models that I love the most. I know I did the same thing with the Fear of God one. At least this time I didn't have to pay resale, which was essentially double of what the retail price was. No, this time I actually paid less than retail. So I paid 150 for the Fear of God California in the oat colorway. Uh, listen, thanks to Unknown for having a sale and I need more. Like, I'm not joking. I at least need two, maybe three more, because this shoe will serve me extremely well. Here's a bonus on foot look, this time with pants, still with the no-show Gymshark socks. However, now I'm wearing the Fear of God Essential sweatpants, this time in the Essence exclusive beige colorway. The beige offers a spot-on monochromatic match to the oak colorway in the Fear of God California. I know some may not care for the back of the sock still being visible with the California itself. It doesn't bother me. I fully intend to wear this sneaker with no-show socks, with shorts, pants, and more. Now, it's interesting with Jerry designing the Fear of God California, it really takes us back to the original reason he even started to design clothing when he was a, just a regular stylist for whether it be stars or athletes he couldn't find the specific items he wanted that fit the aesthetic that draped the right way that just really hit every single check mark that he wanted hit uh for the apparel and so instead he just decided to make his own he wanted shirts to fall a certain way uh shorts pants jackets doesn't matter right we know that it, a lot of it came down to a seamless transition from every single element of your life and the fear of god california funny enough came to fruition because he was tired tired of his kids running around his home in Crocs. Now, that's not to not Crocs, but let's be real. If you've seen Jerry's home, if you've looked at his brand, the aesthetic, all of that, do Crocs really fit that? 
I'm gonna go on a really short limb and say no. The Crocs just don't fit the Fear of God aesthetic at all. And as kids clearly wear everything that their dad bakes, they're featured in all of the lookbooks recently uh, with kids clothing uh, being offered as well by the brand itself. So yeah, that's comical to me that he just got tired of looking at Crocs and said, here, I'm just gonna make something that I think is better, at least, you know, visually. And he delivered. So uh, what is it about this shoe that makes it a winner for me? Well, one easy thing, being able to style the Fear of God California. So let's take a look at three outfits. The first on the left will feature the fourth collection Fear of God mainline flannel in a size small. I'm also wearing super distressed American Eagle denim shorts and the Fear of God California itself. It's a go-to option for me in the spring or summer. Instead of sneakers or flip-flops, I can just slip on the actual Fear of God California and that segments right into the second outfit. In the middle, you have the Fear of God mainline six collection shorts, the Fear of God essentials tank and cream, and the Richie Lee denim jacket in the lighter wash. Finally, the more monochromatic look you saw for the second on foot, the Fear of God Essentials Essence Exclusive Beige Colorway paired with the Fear of God Essentials hat in the Walnut Brown Colorway, and finally, the Fear of God California in the Oak Colorway. Be sure to comment below which outfit is your favorite. Okay, I'll be candid. There is something that will specifically affect me. I don't know how much it will affect everyone else, but this mule essentially, or fear of God, California, it's a magnet for all things, you know, related to either dust or hair or just fine little fibers, okay? So between me having longer hair, it definitely sheds. And then having a dog, even though short hair still sheds, I just have this feeling I will take a lint roller to this California quite a bit. Uh, so that's just something to keep in mind. It will attract quite a bit unless you just want to spray it with static guard, which I'll be honest with you, I may do that or even try rubbing a dryer sheet on it. That may work too. Either way, it can attract quite a bit of hair and dust. Uh, so that is just one downside. We know the other downside a lot of people have already spoken on is that they feel it's just far too hot for them. So even though there is vent a ventilation uh, element here, right? You have a side vent on the interior of each mule or each pair or each shoe, I should say. Uh, a lot of people still don't feel it's enough. So I have not worn this an entire like full extended day yet when I'm filming this, uh, but I'll probably do a follow-up in a video, let you know, you know, does it cause my feet to overheat? Uh, is it too much? Now, the, the reality of why it works for me, First off, I love that it's tonal. So whether it be the oat, the almond, the cream, I can go through the entire offering of colorways and they all work for me, my aesthetic. Uh, if you just look at this, right? This is the oat and this is the uh, Essence Fear of God Essentials beige exclusive colorway, clearly made for each other. Now it is really funny though that if you look on the box, it's so much darker than the actual shoe itself. I don't understand why the colors are so off and I'm looking at the box and I'm looking at this, it's very off. So seeing just uh, the colors themselves, go by what you see online. Don't go by the box, how about that? Uh, but for me, the tones absolutely work in every colorway that's offered. It's so lightweight that it really does feel like you're just wearing nothing on your foot, which I appreciate when you're so used to wearing fly knit um, or even, uh, prime knit you're you're not used to a heavier style shoe so i really do appreciate that and then again i'm at home quite a bit so maybe i don't necessarily want to be in slides especially when the ac is on your feet can still be cooler but you still want to be cool at home so having this on will provide more coverage for my feet in the summer i intend to wear these with socks also let me just throw that out there i intend to wear these with socks um maybe i wouldn't if i just ran out to the pool but then again i don't know that i want to rock these out at the pool because we all know what happens when you wear easy slides at the pool and you leave them in the sun, they can shrink. So if you're gonna wear these out to the pool or have them near the sun, I would just cover them up. How about that? That's just a, a little bit of advice I would give. Maybe cover them up. Uh, don't have them fully just out and exposed to the sun. And outside of that, we should just know that 
The aesthetic works for me. So you guys were able to see a few ways I will style the Fear of God California, but there are so many more uh, that I will choose to wear, whether it be with shorts, with sweats, with denim, with the relaxed items that absolutely dropped. So I'll give an update uh, somewhere here on the screen of the items that I was able to secure since this video is dropping after the official drop of spring, summer 2022 for Fear of God Essentials with so much uh, being offered this go around, but this does it for me. Uh, now when it comes to sizing, so I went a full size down, which is a 37. So essentially this is a men's five. I'm a true men's six or six and a half. So I went down a full size. I could go down to a 36 and I still think be very fine. You guys were able to see where my toe hits on the actual California itself. So yes, I intend to pick up um, either another 37 or maybe a 36. I think it's just a preference, but the 37 was quite fine for me. And wearing thicker socks, if I choose to like fall or winter, this will work too. So please sound off below your thoughts on the Fear of God California. Did you like the aesthetic, but you just thought, no way, I'll pay $190 for this. But if it's down to $150, are you willing to pay it then? Or is it still just a no? And if it's a no, just based on the fact you're not going to pay 150 for one solid piece of foam the same way you won't pay more than $60 for a Yeezy slide. Totally understand that, but I would still love to hear your thoughts. So go ahead, sound off below. Thank you for watching. As always, act your age, not your shoe size. Peace.